Let's use a custom ingredient in Price Cracker Suite for creating nutrient labels for our recipes. I'm going to use a Cadbury's cocoa powder in a recipe. First I add it to my materials at a net cost of $7 for a kilo pack. I can now add it as an ingredient to our recipe using 150 grams and recalculate our costs. Let's look at our recipe's nutrient information. First we need to map our ingredients to those provided by our nutrient data supplier. Let's map corn flour to an existing nutrient ingredient. You need to map an ingredient only once. All recipes will be updated with the mapping. Next let's map cocoa as a custom ingredient. A custom ingredient is one that is not provided by the nutrient database and must be entered by the user. I'm using the nutrient data as provided on the packaging of the cocoa packet. Remember to enter values as per 100 grams of edible portion. I've been asked why do we need to enter the ingredient twice, once as a material and then as a nutrient. The difference is that materials hold the costs of the ingredient and nutrients is the nutritional breakdown of the ingredient. Back on our nutrient recipe screen we can see the map to our food ID from our nutrient database. You can edit the ingredients names to suit our needs. These will appear on labels that display lists and percentages and that's all there is to it.